Hi to everyone, your pal Ral here with some more Pokemon Platinum. Last episode, we caught up with Max over at Lake Acuity, but we were too late. Team Galactic defeated him, and they captured the Pokemon of the lake. We also did some backtracking, and most importantly, Cosmos finally evolved into a Togekiss. We haven't done any actual battling with her as a Togekiss, but she'll get her time to shine. Anyways, this episode, we're here in Veilstone City because we're here to chase after Team Galactic. Their main building is right up here. There, would you look at those antennae? I don't know what they do, but those are some mighty impressive antennae. Or is it antenna? What's the plural? How do you pronounce? I don't know. Hey, it's you! I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his old country. I know nothing. I don't know anything about any storage key. Haha! -ha, you leave this to me. I don't know why I almost like... When I, when I started voicing Looker, I was about to go with like a pirate accent for some reason, but that doesn't make sense. Anyways, the storage key for entering the Team Galactic hideout I have right here. A frontal assault, it is not possible, but we can enter their hideout. Well, will you enter the hideout? You have your reasons, yes? Very well, inside the Team Galactic Warehouse. We will meet there. Prepare the best you can. I shall join you shortly. Do you say anything else? Um, no, but I can have your theme play on command. Well, I'm already prepared. I think my team is pretty much set. And I'm still going to be battling mostly with Exia until he catches up, but he's almost there. Anyways, the warehouse is all the way over on the other side of the city, right this way. And once you enter and try to go through here, I've kept you waiting. I will use this storage key I have obtained from the Team Galactic. Yes, it is opened. I will go on ahead, my friend. Do not expose yourself to danger. Oh, okay then. Fun fact, when you're playing through Diamond and Pearl, because Looker isn't there, he was a character that was introduced in Platinum, in Diamond and Pearl, you can actually, like, you actually get the storage key yourself, and it has, like, its own item description and everything. Anyways, in here is a Dusk Stone. Not really useful in Platinum, but in Diamond and Pearl, since you can catch either uh, Murkrow or Mischievous, depending on the version you're playing, you can use that to evolve them. But since they're not available in Platinum, it's not really a useful item unless you get those Pokemon through trades. Now this song. It's good. It's a really, really good song! Anyways, now that we've infiltrated the warehouse, there's some Team Galactic runs here that are sure to stop us. Well, they're gonna do their best. We're pretty much... We're, we can handle some Galactic runs. Especially since Exia can just bop these Golbat that we find here. Oh, really? You live through that? Hmm. I'm surprised, honestly. You know what? That's fine. It's fine. Oh, really? Okay, now it's not fine. Come on, Exia. You can do this. Come on. Come on. Hit it with the... Come on, Exia. Eliminate the target, please. Oh, I can't even switch now. Well, I have healing items as well, if I really need them, but hopefully I don't. Good. 
Good Exia. Okay, so now that is that your only Pokemon? Yeah. Gosh, Team Galactic has such good music. Yeah, I barge rent your HQ. But this part of the HQ, it's really small. Like, it doesn't it doesn't really uh let us explore like the main parts of the HQ. The main goal here is to get the it's to find a certain item. So we'll do just that. It's not this thing. A zinc. I mean a zinc is handy as well. No hidden items? You'd think there'd be more items laying around considering this connects to the warehouse. Oh well. Uh, what with that creepy chair on and a kid like you around, the HQ's not the same anymore. Like, you characters changed the, well, character of the place. Listen, I'm not part of Team Galactic, but... That Charon fella, Charon, whatever? Yeah, I don't know about him. Hound Hour. Okay, then. I don't really want to waste... Ah, sure, I'll, I'll waste the close combat. It's not like I'm that worried about what a Hound Hour can do to me. The whole lowering my defenses, though, that could be... That could be a bit problematic if I don't keep track of that. Murkrow? An Ice Punch can take care of this. Okay, good. Exia is just putting in all of the work. Okay, there we go. And now Exia is only two levels away from catching up with the rest of the team, which is really, really good. And I'm not being cocky about it. I'm just excited that Exia is catching up. Without their special card key, you're not going to get very far. Well, non-Team Galactic member, what's your next move? I'm going to go look for that card key. That's the item that we're looking for. See, I'm a Team Galactic member, and I don't even have a Pokemon. I'm the gruntiest of the grunts. It's my fault, though I still don't know how the warp panels connect. Warp panels? That sounds... interesting. So, the reason the music changed here is because we're in the first floor of the Galactic Veilstone building. Like, the this warehouse connects to it, but not to the main parts of the Veilstone building. Uh, who do you think you are, desecrating the halls of our HQ? Um... I'm me. Let's see, you have... just one Glammeow. Okay then. Let's just go with one Ice Punch. A part of me is thinking that maybe I should have kept Force Palm in just a little bit longer just because Close Combat... doesn't have the most PP. It only has five. But... oh well. I'll manage with what I have. And another thing I'm considering is maybe teaching Earthquake to Exia? I don't know. But now here is the main gimmick of this building. There's warp panels that will teleport you to different rooms. So this one will take us to this room. Ooh, hello. Item. TM49 Snatch. That's a really gimmicky move. The way it works is if the opponent is going to use a move that like boosts their stats or whatever, you take those stat boosts. There's no hidden item here? I thought there was. Heh, whatever. Anyways, this will take us back here. And there we go. Let's take this one. Uh, does this computer say anything? No? No, like, top secret documents or anything? Eh, whatever. Not my business. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I think. No, I thought there was a, a hidden item there. Anyways, back to the awesome music. This will take us... I think this is not the required path? Oh, I think it is. Well, I'm not going to take this just yet. It's because I don't know where this goes, and I want to see where those stairs go. This place can get a little bit confusing with all these war panels and all these stairs and whatever. Oh, you're almost on your way to getting promoted. Cool, but 
these war panels make things a little bit confusing, but just because they lead, like, they all lead to, like, one set path, so it doesn't take that long to backtrack once you go through a war panel, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, is, this is probably gonna leave it with, like, half health. No! Oh! Okay, then I'll take it. And a Crow Gunk. This is a little bit more worrisome, because this could actually use fighting type attacks on me. See, things like this. This is what makes me consider using Earthquake on Exia. But then they use things like this. Okay, you're not gonna live to make use of that nasty play. Crow Gunk doesn't really even use special moves that often, so... Not really the best choice of a move there. Oh well, not my Pokemon. Then one Ice Punch ought to do it. I'm just really itching to use Cosmos once Exia catches up. Because that's going to be exciting. There we go. Yeah, sorry. It happened. Losing system back to square one. I'll probably get busted down to the gruntiest of the grunts. Well, we just met the gruntiest of the grunts. So, at least you know how the war panels work. Uh, lock the locked doors only open with a special key. Now, if I was a comedy relief sort of bad guy, I'd tell you. But I really don't know. At least you're honest. Oh, I think I remember this room, so... I'll come back here later. So, I'm just gonna go through this place. And down these stairs, and I, le I believe there's a scientist that's waiting for me over here? Yes! I don't know how I remember that, I just do. Hey now, our HQ is a state-of-the-art facility. A snot nose kid like you ought to keep your dirty hands to yourself. Well, I can't deny that I'm probably, like, covered in dirt just because I've been journeying around, but... Come on, let me explore around a little. Uh, let's see, Ice Pod, X Defend. That probably won't be enough for this, because Curlia isn't really the most defensive Pokemon out there. Come on, knock you out! What's next? Kadabra? Ooh, you know what? This is actually the perfect opportunity to use Cosmos. Okay, show your stuff. Also, I really like Cosmos' cry as a Togekiss. Uh, Air Slash. Even if this thing lives through Air Slash, it'll, it's probably gonna flinch. It didn't live through it. Oh well. Okay, that's... That's another battle down. What item are you guarding? It is... Dubious Disc! Okay, so this item is used to evolve Porygon 2 into Porygon Z. So if you're using that on your team, you can get yourself a really powerful special attacker there. Wow, you have water leak in here. You should uh, fix that. Now this item, TM36 Sludge Bomb, a decent poison type move, but poison type coverage in this game isn't the best. I'll have to get into Master Cyrus's speech. Uh, where was it now? At the Galactic Veilstone building, that much I'm sure about. Going through the door beside the reception counter, I think it was. Uh, what'd I do with that key? Where's it gone? Well, the key that you're looking for happens to be right here. So the galactic key is gonna be our ticket into the rest of the building. But first, I'm gonna do some backtracking. Because we can actually use the galactic key right up here. Just take this teleporter. And now, go up these stairs, and this, uh, at the end of this pathway is where we can use the Galactic Key. It's not a one-time use item either, we can use it like throughout the entire building, which is really nice. Stunky? Oh, you probably have Aftermath. Oh well. Let's, let's just go in with a punch. Close combat probably would have done it too, but... Eh. Oh, you're frozen! Nice! 
love when that happens. Doesn't happen too often, but still, it's really nice when it does. Don't have Aftermath. Good, you don't. I mean, you probably should, because it's the better ability for battles, but... Not my problem. So you need to read the dramatic situation, but... <laughs> no thank you. What does this say? The Team Galactic Credo. Everything belongs to Team Galactic. Look beyond the world. Space will become Team Galactics. Okay then. Oh, hello. And I'm... I'm pretty sure we're not going to be seeing that many new Pokemon for us, like, to add to our Sinnoh decks here, just because Galactic Grunts, they tend to use the same things. So, yeah. But, it's still experience. And any experience is good. Especially because once you're done with this place, then you won't be able to fight the trainers here, so... My recommendation is to get as much experience as possible from this place. Stunky. Um, you probably don't have Aftermath either. So let's just use Close Combat on you. And this should knock you out. Good job. And Exia only needs a little bit more experience to catch up with everyone. Let's see, how can we arouse suspicion? We're Team Galactic and this is our HQ. You've got a point. I mean, elsewhere you'd be suspicious, but not here. Anyways, in here, there's an item here, which is TM21 Frustration, which is basically the... It's the counterpart to Return, where with, with a Return, if your Pokemon is at max happiness, then return will be at full power. But when your Pokemon is not at max happiness, like the least it likes you, or the less it likes you, then the more damage frustration does. But I don't really like frustration just because a lot of actions that you do throughout playing a Pokemon game, like even walking, beating Pokemon, like that increases happiness with a Pokemon. So it's more beneficial to have return than frustration in my opinion. Anyways, just use this and this will take you right back to the entrance of the Galactic Warehouse. So it's nice that it loops you right back. And now you can just use this opportunity to heal before going into the Galactic Veil. Some bleh, bleh, I'm stumbling on my words. But you can use this opportunity to heal before taking on the headquarters itself, which I will do. Okay, my team is all healed up. We have the Galactic Key. So, it's time to enter the... the... What do they call it? The Galactic Failstone Building? It's the Team Galactic Headquarters. I got the item that was here, right? I did. Or was it on this side? Well, I, I did get it, so... Nothing to worry about. Now, do these grunts say anything? No. I think I already talked to these grunts out here. Yeah. Well, now, let's just use this key. And enter the building. Enter the headquarters proper. So, this part of the headquarters is much bigger than if you were to enter from the warehouse. Ooh, this could be a... I want this to be a double battle. So, Aegeon, you can go in the lead. Oh, really? I want it to be a double battle. Ah, lame. Whatever. At the very least, um... Exia will be getting the experience here. Ooh, a Golbat. Okay, Exia could barely, uh... Knock out a level 41 Golbat with Ice Punch, but now that Exia has gotten stronger, this one... Probably gonna be a one-hit KO. Really? Oh, are we gonna have a repeat of this? Come on, Exia, you can do better. Gosh, I really wanted this to be a double battle, but whatever. Don't use Mean Luck, don't use Confuse Ray, don't do anything. So, it's the... 
So the galactic grunts that use Golbat, those are the ones that are the most annoying. Please. Exia. Exia, work with me. You're not losing to a, to a galactic grunt. I'm sorry, but it's just not happening. And this galactic grunt is one more Pokemon. That's gonna be annoying. No, you use me and look. Okay, then. Come on. Free yourself from confusion? Nope. Don't hit yourself, please. Exia! Cooperate with me, please! Why do you keep on hitting yourself? Good. Good job, Exia. Okay, what are you sending out next? Will it be annoying? It's another Golbat. Okay, this is your chance to redeem yourself. This one's level 38. So if you can't knock out this level 38 one, you're gonna... ...go in the timeout zone. Hey, you don't have to go in the timeout zone. Good. Okay, so that's one down. Uh, so what? You have momentum. It's too late. The experiment's done. Experiment? That doesn't sound good. See, you should be tired out by now. It's Team Galactic's turn to shine. I'm not tired at all. I just rested at the Pokemon Center. I mean, Exio was, like, hitting himself or something, but... Other than that, we're all good. Oh, come off it. You... Do both of you just have two of these... things? Come on. Just knock it out, please, Exia. Oh, really? Really? Okay, this one didn't use Confuse Ray at the very least, so that makes me glad. Okay, quick attack. Good. Good. Good, Exia. You're eliminating the targets. Ooh, Hound Hour. Um, sure. Let's have Cosmos do some more fighting. Just because. She can take care of this with an Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere. And it just... Aura Sphere has a really cool animation in this game. And I like the charging up noise when you use it. Like... That's my, uh... That's my impression of an Aura Sphere in this game. <laughs> Level 46. Not bad. Wow, your attack stat is not the best. But then again, it doesn't need to be. Pokemon, are that important to you? Is that what this is all about? Sure. Uh, you go back here just because I'm really particular about the order of my team for some reason. Team Galactic TV room. Sta uh, state of the art audio and video system for member use only. On well, only members are allowed in this building in the first place. Let's see, there's a report titled The Pokemon Statues of Eterna. Let's see, Pokemon Statue Plate Text Number One from Stolen Plate. The creation of Dialga, the giver of time. In laughter, there is tears, and likewise, it is with time. The same time flows on, for it is the blessing of Dialga. The blue text has been extracted using a high-tech device made by the boss. And the second plate. The birth of Palkia, the creator of parallel dimensions. Alive, yet not alive. Everything drifts in space. To arrive in the same universe, it is the blessing of Palkia. Interesting. Wow, I didn't even think, like, I didn't even think there would be any, like, text here for the refrigerator. I just checked on it, just because I was curious. Drink all you wish and gain the energy to move us forward. The refrigerator is filled with murky, sinister drinks and nothing else. Does the sink say anything? Health and prosperity through the partaking of favorite foods. Foul, unidentifiable substances are... They're caked around the sink. That's a... That's a very descriptive word. 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 Caked. See here, I think this leads to a dead end. Maybe. This feels like it does. It does. There's no hidden item though. No oh well. Max revive, I'll take it. A really good item. Okay, so where does the other teleporter take us then? 
This has to be an optional thing, right? Let's see, I'm curious now. Yes! Aha! Hit an item. Somewhere here. Green shard, which... Not bad. Uh, it's right up here. Max potion. Okay, very useful. I'll take that as well. And now... Let's go into the TV room. Hello, this Wow. I'm stumbling on my words today. I don't know why. But... We have a scientist here. With a Porygon too. Interesting. Okay, then. Ooh, Exe is going to be level 45 now. That's good. I can switch Exia out. I mean, not... Not like, um... Not like I'm happy about that. It's just... It will be, uh... It will be nice to have the other team members partake in the action now. So... Let's just switch you out for... Let's say Gembu. Gembu level 46 yet? Let's see. Nope. Okay, good. It's only Gembu and Sync that need to make it to level 46. Let's see. Our boss is a scientific genius. He'll make the power of mythical Pokemon his own. I think he's looking to add the power of legendary Pokemon his own. Mythical Pokemon are a little bit different than that. Oh. Hello. Psst. Here. Over here. This gathering of the Team Galactic. What is the meaning of it? Fellow members of Team Galactic, hear me. My name, as I appear to you today, is Cyrus. This world of ours is a crude one. In a word, it is incomplete. It has been and always will be a struggle to survive in this world. We humans and Pokemon are likewise incomplete. Because we are also lacking, we fight, we maim. It is ugly. I hate the incompleteness. That we are all incomplete, I hate it with my entire body and being. The world should be complete. The world must change. Then who will change it? Me, Cyrus, and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you. Together, we poured over myths and exposed their secrets. Together, we captured legendary Pokemon. And now, Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world. The power of dreams is within our grasp. Understand it, fellow members. My long-held dream world is on the verge of becoming reality. All those headed to Mount Coronet and those who remain here, though our missions may differ, our hearts beat as one. Let there be glory for Team Galactic. Master Cyrus is the greatest. Wow, these grunts are just eating it up. And how do they not notice us? Like, we were just standing right there in the entrance. Did no one notice us? I don't know. Whew. So that was Cyrus, the boss of the Team Galactic. Quite the performance, no? Mesmerizing for one only 27 years old. So at the time of recording this, I'm 26. <laughs> and Cyrus definitely looks older. He definitely looks older than... than a 27-year-old person would. I mean, I know I generally look on the young side, but still, there's only like a year difference between us. At least at the time of this recording. But to make a world for Team Galactic and none other. It is preposterous. So much so that it makes my head spin. A new world. What is that? And what is this incomplete world? Very well. To investigate such matters is the job of the International Police. Of which I am a member in good stead. And it is my job therefore. We shall part ways here. Take extra care my friend. Also how did you get here through the warehouse? Eh, I don't know. Anyways... With that, I'm going to end it off here. We infiltrated the Team Galactic Headquarters and made quite a ways into this place. We're still not done with this place, 
but we were able to hear Cyrus's speech to Team Galactic. And I don't think his grunts really got the full message there, but oh well. Anyways, next time we're gonna continue on and try to find the captured legendary Pokemon. Thank you so much for watching, and see you all next time for some more Pokemon Platinum. Later!